Hello everyone and welcome to episode 51 of the CWA The Real World Draft Series here on the channel as we are down to our last, you know, fucking five episodes here. Uh, this is nuts, you know, we've made it this far and now we're about to wrap up as we only have like four or five shows left. Uh, it's pretty, been a pretty fun ride and now it's uh, time to, to send her off. And send her off in the right way and we're building up to our last show, which is Cold Fear, which you saw at our last event, the Stuart Memorial Cup. Uh, that we saw Brody Lee winning that, and he's already the British Commonwealth Champion. So there will be a title for title matchup at Cold Fury, where it's going to be Pac, obviously the CWA Champion right now, the Canadian Heavyweight Champion, where he's going to take on Brody Lee, the British Commonwealth Champion, to uh, unify those belts and to uh, you know send off the series as with a unified champion reigning uh, supreme over the CWA to end off. The series, I think it's just the perfect way to end off the series, so might as well do it here. As uh, we have uh, for this first show, the fallout from uh, the we're, uh, the CWA's Stuart Memorial Cup Classic show. Uh, you know, obviously we saw a lot of debuts uh, at the last show. We saw Charlotte Flair uh, interfere and attack the women's champion, Sasha Banks, in her uh, tournament matchup. We saw Claudio make his debut, being the uh, replacement for Sami Zayn, which... Speaking of Sami Zayn being you know, taken out of that tournament, there's going to be a tag match tonight. As far as it's going to be, obviously, Kevin and Sami taking on John Morrison in the Miz, which, funny enough, that was on the first ever uh, TV show that we did. So that's kind of funny that we're now wrapping up the series, and that's kind of a callback from the you know, the first ever uh, event where we had uh, Kevin do the double turn on Sami. That was the big kind of feud to begin off this uh, series. That's just kind of funny that we're kind of coming circle now so that's taking place plus adam cole was the final debut the third debut who he cost kenny his match against brian danielson and now uh you know with adam cole he's making his official entering debut tonight as he's gonna take on tj wilson that, that's just a fun matchup that i was like wow that would actually be a really good match if they ever wrestled but obviously now yeah, that's a uh it can only be a uh, a fictional universe type of thing sadly enough but it should be a pretty fun match, though, and it should be a really good show. As, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's run the goddamn show. As uh, the Blonde Bombshells Heartbreakers pre-show matchup, as you see, I mean, the Heartbreakers really are just the drizzling shits compared to the Heartbreakers there as 53-49 for Natalia and Candice LeRae. So they beat uh, the Blonde Bombshells in 937 as Candice pinning Ali after the Heartbreaker. Then the next pre-show, which uh, I'm sure this had to have happened in a singles matchup. Like, I just couldn't uh, imagine a world where they didn't have a matchup. I feel like they did, but I, at the same time, I'm like, well, it would have been a, a different type of Claudio, because I want to say Claudio got called up in 2012, and I want to say Barrett was done by 2014, maybe, 2013. So maybe they, I mean, they've had to have wrestled one-on-one. -on -one. But just off the top of my head, I was like, well, it's been a while since we've ever seen anything like that, you know, with Claudio and Barrett. Uh, but as Neutralizer getting the win in 9.50 as uh, Barrett losing there, obviously, as Claudio trying, trying to get him better. Even though it's the end of the series, he's still trying to get some uh, some better shit out there. But a 58, though, not bad. Not bad at all. Then we have the recap of what happened to the Stuart Memorial Cup Classic to basically start off the show. Showing, you know, how Brian Dance and Brody Lee, how they got to the finals. So obviously Brody had the buy, the first round buy, thanks to him being a champion. Brian took on Kenny Omega. He gets the win there. Then Brian took on Roger Strong, which you know that was awesome. Then Brody, I want to say he took on Kevin Steen. Yep, yeah, that's that is right. He, they both had buys, so they faced each other. And uh, Kevin Steen lost, obviously, with Brody Lee and Discus Lair. And then Brody took on Pac, the fucking champion. Which, you know, it's funny that they're now going to do that again to unify the belts. And then uh, Br and Brian took on uh, Claudio. So that was just kind of a fun match as well. Then we had, obviously, Brody and Brian. Which, Brody getting the win at the end to uh, cap off the Storm Memorial Cup. And then uh, we're going to go into the actual Stampede TV intro, obviously. As, as always, to start off these shows. Then we have uh, Sasha Banks starting off the show. Issuing a challenge to Charlotte Flair. You know, saying, Charlotte, you want to get in my business? Do you want to... Interfere with my matches. You want to make your debut, trying to make a statement against me. I was, I've been wanting competition, I'm wanting to take on the best of the best. Looks like you're now the best of the best around here. So well, why don't we just settle our differences in the ring instead of trying to attack me like a coward? Which Charlotte think comes out and accepts the challenge. 
says that uh, her reign is going to start soon for her queendom and that she's going to cap off her start of this new era of the CWA as being the champion and being the queen of the CWA. She's the queen of the north, as she's saying to, to uh, Sasha Banks. That's I mean, That was a really good promo, though. 73, we'll take it. And uh, everybody did great. Awesome stuff. Well, glad to see the women's division there for a while. Is getting, getting carried by Trish. And then we used Trish to kind of the best of our abilities. Then we had Sasha come in, beat her. Now Sasha was the top you know, lady in the in the CWA world. Now we got Charlotte Lee to bring in something. I mean, it's just kind of funny how it was always like a one lady kind of reigning supreme. And now we we got some more. You know, we got you know, now we got Charlotte. We got Sasha. Brought in Tony Storm to try to bring in somebody new. You know, we've uh, tried to uh, give Candice somebody new. But I think that's definitely been the biggest one besides Sasha, obviously. Really huge, huge signing for us. I was hoping for this to be a little bit better. But Adam Cole gets the win with the last shot in 16-14. It's a 55 for Adam Cole, 49 for TJ there. That's, that's tough. As uh, then afterwards, post-match promo. Or I guess post-match interview with uh, Renee Young. As Renee, you know, saying, you know, Adam Cole showing up in the CWA, costing Kenny Omega his Stu Harmon World Cup Classic match against Brian Danielson. You know, Adam Cole, I, you, obviously, you guys have had history in the past. And she just kind of cuts off and says, you guys thought you could kill me? You could never kill Adam Cole. Well, you know, you can't kill Adam Cole, baby. You, know, you just can't do it. You guys are so dumb. <laughs> you know, he's talking about the elite, you know, Kenny Omega, the Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson. Now you guys... See so you guys fighting up here in Canada, forgetting about what you guys were built about being the elite of the elite. You see you guys, you know, bickering and battering, you know, and you're fighting each other. Just made me sick. Made me sick thinking that you had forgotten all about me. Forgetting what made you, you. Forgetting what made the elite, the elite. And now, you know, I wanted to make sure it hurt you the most, Kenny Omega. The see the way tag team champion... You're trying to do things your way, trying to leave your good buddy Kota Bushi behind, trying to do your own thing, winning the Stuart Memorial Cup. It's not going to happen. It wasn't going to happen on my watch. I just wanted to make sure that you know I'm not a ghost. <laughs> I'm a real being. I wanted to cost you something that meant near and dear to your heart. And if you got something to do, you know, if you got something to say about a Kenny Omega, you know where to find him. Yeah, and and he's, he's making his way up the ramp. Turns around to the you know the crowd and tries to do his Adam Cole baby taunt and then Kenny Omega V triggers him in the back of the head. He rolls down the ramp, fucking runs down there, puts the boots to him. Finally, security you know breaks up, trying to break up Kenny Omega, trying to get him off Adam Cole as just a, a fun little way to attack him from behind. So looks like we're gonna have presumably Kenny Omega Adam Cole at the next show or at the next event, Cold Fury. So we already got you know from this one TV taping. We're going to have, you know, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks for Cold Fury. We're now going to have Kenny Omega and Adam Cole. And now, you know, we'll have, the, obviously, the contract signing that's happening after this matchup. Tag team match. Kevin Steen, Sami Zayn defeating John Morrison and The Miz. As Sami Zayn beating John Morrison with a bright <laughs> uh Kevin Steen with a 74. 60 for Sami Zayn. 66 for John Morrison. He actually outperformed Sami. But then Miz with a 57. Yeah, I figured that would do pretty well. A segment rating of a 70. Not bad at all. Obviously, we've had two pretty great segments. So I'm already feeling very confident about this show. Then we're going to have uh, Claudio and Chris Hero. They're running into each other backstage. And just kind of like, a, hey, man, no, no hard feelings. I got the call to be here, you know, here in the CWA to be Sami Zayn's replacement. If I knew it was going to be you, you know, I might not have showed up type of thing with Claudio telling Hero. You know, just kind of sees you know, right through this. Yeah, bullshit. You know, you know damn well you want to show that you were the best of kings of wrestling. You want to show that you were the superior king, kings of wrestling. And you might have got me that night. Might have had, and that might have been your night. But if I knew I was going to be preparing for you, I would have took that a lot more seriously. I would have been watching tape. I would have known how to defeat you, Claudio, because I've team with you. I've been there. I've seen you wrestle a thousand times. I know exactly how to beat you. Just got lucky. And it's kind of a uh, heated moment there, but then they walk walk each other. Yeah, they walk past each other, going their separate ways. But just a little thing where a hero's like, listen, you know, can't kid yourself. You were just 
uh, lucky that night that I, I wasn't prepared for you type of thing. Claudio just said, hey, no hard feelings. So he, they're trying, you know, Claudio's trying to amend King's Wrestling maybe, but Hero's already, you know, clearly is a little upset, a little hurt by that. And he feels a little betrayed by Claudio for doing that. Just a lot of uh, emotionals. A lot of emotional uh, responses there from both guys. That's so just kind of a fun little segment. And then uh, the graphic for the contract signing is coming up. And then we have the contract signing. Unifying the CWA British Commonwealth and unifying the CWA Canadian Heavyweight Championship. These two men will battle out thanks to Brody winning the Stuart Memorial Cup Classic. But also, too, let's say Brody would have lost that and it would have been Brian winning. It would have just been a triple threat, probably wouldn't have been a unification. But, you know, that just kind of showed you how costly it was uh, for Brian not winning the whole thing. As, uh, yeah, and then, you know, you have Pac, who's obviously upset. Says Brody winning was a fluke. That he is the best of the best. That he is what the standard is in the CWA. And Brody, you know, you can get lucky one night. But when the bright lights are on, when I have to wrestle, you know, two times going... Well, he only wrestled once, so that was... Well, he does have to wrestle you know, multiple times the night. He was already thinking ahead when he could get his hands on Brian Danielson. He kind of over, you know, he's just saying that he overlooked him. And now he's wired in, he's zoned in on Brody Lee. And, and he's not going to let that same mistake happen. Uh, Cold Fury, which Brody Lee says is a bunch of bullshit. The big effing rig is here to claim what he wants. And what he wants is the CW Canadian Everyone Championship. I want to be... The belt collector. I want to prove Brody Lee you know, wants to prove he is the absolute best in the CWA. And he's going to prove it at Cold Fury when he unifies this his championship. So that's just a little fun promo. They you know sign all the contracts and it's official. Pac taking on Brody Lee at Cold Fury. So that should be a lot of fun and hell of a promo, hell of a segment. Listen, it could have been a lot worse. That was actually a really good show. It's kind of funny. It took us this long to start getting good shows, but really what I would say the big thing is, is our segments are getting better. Really, the whole show, the worst thing was a 53. It's not bad at all, you know, if you count the pre-show to 48, but everything just really, really good, you know, from, uh, the, you know, Sasha and Charlotte and Pac and Brody, like, just, it, it's really come together really nicely obviously signing in more people wish our we would have a lot more people but kind of running weekly in alberta every time it does you know it makes the shit oversaturated at times but I, i'm still very happy with what we did and yeah that will do it for this episode thank you all for watching and we will catch you guys next time for more cw stampede action as we're going to look to add more matches to that cold fury card take care everyone